Welcome to the Gorilla 5 video series. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to create a second board with a second phase, how to edit board names, how to delete a strip board, and how to display different strip board layout views. You might want to create a second board because you are playing around with different ways to shoot your schedule. You could create one board based on a certain actor's schedule and another board based on the availability of a location. Let's create a second board. From the strip board toolbar, select the new board button. This is going to take us to the create strip board dialog box. I'm going to go ahead and enter a board name and attach it to a production phase. If we click OK, Gorilla will create a new board. To toggle between the two boards, go up to the board pull down menu and select the board you want to work with. Next, I'm going to show you how to create a strip board and attach it to a second production phase. Let's close the board and go back to the calendar screen. We only have one phase here. Let's create a second phase. Select a phase name. I'm going to select Reshoot. Give it a color and give it a one week time period here. Make sure that the phase type is set to shoot days. Click OK. So Gorilla created a new phase with those new shoot dates. Go ahead and close the calendar screen. As we return to the breakdown sheets, let me point out something important. Notice that when we select a scene from the scene navigator, the phase field displays the phase for the scene selected. All of these scenes are attached to the principal photography phase. That is because when we imported our screenplay and created our shoot days, it automatically attached them to the principal photography phase. If we want to move a particular scene to a different phase, select that scene and click on the phase field. And notice, now that we have created a second phase, we will see that phase in our list of phases. If we were to click on that phase, notice that the scene will now be attached to that phase. Let's do that again with another scene. I'm going to select another scene, scene 8. I'm going to move it to the reshoot phase. And I'm going to do it one more time with scene 11. So now we will have three scenes attached to the reshoot phase. If I were to list my breakdown sheets in the list view, you will notice that the production phase attached to scene 6, 8, and 11 are different than the rest of the scenes as the color of the phase makes it clear. Now, if you go to the strip board, notice that scenes 6, 8, and 11 are no longer in the board for principal photography. That is important to note. If you're going to move a scene from one phase to another, it will also remove that scene from any boards that are attached to the original phase. Let's create a new board. We're going to call it Board 3. I am also going to add Reshoot to the name of the board. Now when you go to select a phase, notice there are now two phases to choose from. I'm going to select the Reshoot phase and click OK. The new board is created with only the scenes that are attached to the reshoot phase. Also, the shoot days reflect the shoot days for the reshoot phase, which were created in the calendar module. In order to edit a board name, click on the Edit button next to the board name. In this screen, we will see all our boards and which phase they are attached to. To change the name of a board, select it and edit the name. Only one board can be the default board. That means that when you print reports, unless you specify otherwise, Gorilla will use the default board for strip board reports. On the right-hand side of the screen, 
there is a delete button for each board. By clicking on this button, you will permanently delete the board selected. The last thing I want to show you is the layout view. Currently, we are in the horizontal view for strips. We can change the view to horizontal large, which will display larger strips. It will also include the location field if you have attached a location to your scenes. Large strips will also show you the estimated time for a strip. The normal horizontal layout does not show you the estimated time for each strip. It does show you the total estimated time on your daybreak strips. The horizontal thin strips view will not show you as much information, but it will show you a lot more strips on the screen. That wraps up this lesson. Have a great shoot.